Okay guys, I'm out at Hoi Hoa Sun for day number three of Tet, right near the Starlight Bridge. I just did a video on that lately, it's called the Lover's Bridge. But we're back out here again for Tet for obvious reasons. Because there's a lot of people out here. So we're gonna have a little walkabout. Let's see what's going on out here. Start by going this way. As you can see, as which is usual for Tet, there is tons of people out here. I always thought the holidays were a time to relax at home. That's how I think being a Westerner. But I guess here in Ho Chi Minh City, everybody goes out. When my girlfriend was telling me that we gotta go hang out for Ted, I didn't believe her. Because she's tricked me so many times. But she, she's right. Everybody seems to go out. Look at the crowds once again. Wow, I need to buy new glasses. Top of my glasses are so scratched up when those lights reflect off of them. It hits those scratches and the lights just scramble. Oh, let's see what's going on over here. <laughs> Looks like some little girls posing for some pictures. And there's some cool, cool script. A loving couple posing for some pictures. I think my girlfriend will probably want to take pictures somewhere. What do you guys think? Do you think she wants to take pictures somewhere? Let's ask her. Do you want to take pictures somewhere? Yes, but not now. She says yes, but not now. I know, it's a special kind of way of writing. I forgot what it was called. People that do this are very talented. They are very talented. See what else is going on out here. Do you guys remember this from my Starlight Lover's Bridge video? This is the same street. Remember how deserted it was in that video? It's not like that tonight. This guy in the funny hat up here. Check him out. Bush is impeding my path to him though. Of course, as you guys know, it's the year of the tiger. So we're seeing tigers everywhere. It's like we got a purple multicolored tiger up there. <laughs> my girlfriend just put her hand in my pocket and I grabbed her wrist because I thought I was being pickpocketed. <laughs> oh, hello. How are you? Check out the guy in the funny hat. I want to show the guy in the funny hat first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she wants to go see the tiger. Wow, that is awesome. I want to go touch it. See what it's made of. I wonder if it's probably just plastic. Yeah, it's just plastic. Kind of like the McDonald's toys, the plague sets. But still, still really cool. That's another one of the statue people like we see out in the Wen Hui. This one's a girl though. Usually we see the guys and they're silver. Pretty cool, huh? It's a little breezy out here, so you can see her uh, clothes moving a little bit. I lost my girlfriend. Anybody seen my girlfriend? Is that her taking a picture for people? It is. She was taking a picture for people. I thought that was her, but I saw her taking a picture, so I thought to myself, that can't be her. You know how I finally realized it was her? I looked at her footwear and I recognize it as the footwear that always sits in front of my house or in front of my front door.
Okay, this is kind of enchanting, like a secret forest. Let's walk under it. What are those? Cucumbers? Oh, Jebao. Jebao pickles? Jebao and Jebi. It's real, real. I'm gonna Google what that is later. Real. It's real one. It is real. Yeah. I can smell it too. We eat before. It looks like a big cucumber to me. Or maybe an incredible Hulk. No, oh, never mind. I won't say that. Oh, my sunflowers. Not interrupt these guys' this picture. Doesn't that look like something the Incredible Hulk would have? You guys know what I'm talking about? Looks like it would be big enough to be one the Incredible Hulk's finger or something like that. You guys know I was only meant his fingers, right? I wasn't saying anything else. Don't be weird, guys. Let's go check out the 2022 sign. You see these vendors everywhere in Vietnam. Some fried sausages. This is called straw or hay. In Vietnam, we call it rum. Rum? Rum. Rum? Yeah. In English, we call it straw. Oh, sunflowers again, like the park. People posing for pictures. Alright, guys, it's 2020. Oh, 2022? It wasn't 2022 a month ago. In Asia, it's 2022 now. It's only 2022 on the calendar. I know I said this in yesterday's videos, but music makes me nervous now. I had to cut out a big portion of that video where I went to the park because of a copyright claim. Do you guys think that's kind of greedy for if I play a minute and a half of music in a 35 minute video? that a different company will get all the money generated by ads. I said, screw that. I just took that section out. I'm not making any money from YouTube either, but I don't want them to make money just off a minute and a half of my music. Or a mi minute and a half of my video with their music. But hopefully this music is playing right now is safe. So if you guys are hearing me say this right now, then you know that this music was safe. There are coconuts. You guys remember the video when I went out and saw Mr. Lamb in the countryside at Kanta? I'll post that up above to the right if you guys haven't seen that series. It's very interesting. He's a very smart kid, very ambitious. He speaks English very well. His vocabulary is very good. His pronunciation needs a lot of work, but his vocabulary is massive. A very very bright kid. These are all the same shops I showed you on my Lover's Bridge video. It looks like a completely different street now. Some clowns. Ah, the people that balloon tires. I can't get near them because that sound of them twisting those things gives me chills in my spine. It's like styrofoam rubbing together. Fingernails on chalkboards. Swan and Bui. Hi Mui, hi Mi Hai. Sun and Bui. Hi Mui, hi Mi Hai. So District 7, Phu Mi Hung. Phu Mi Hung's the name of the neighborhood. And of course, Tiger with his red envelope. His lucky money. Oh, I got to experience my first lucky money exchange. And I put that video out. By the time this video out comes out, it'll be a couple days ago. So check that out if you haven't seen it. If you want to see what a money exchange or a lucky envelope exchange ceremony looks like. 
When you do those ceremonies, you give each other some money to bring fortune into the new year. If you start the new year by receiving money, then you'll receive money all year long. That's the belief here. Okay guys, I'm gonna kill the camera because I just walked through this. But as soon as I get to where I started, I'm gonna turn it back on again. She wants to do some pictures next to the Incredible Hulk's fingers. So we're gonna do that here on our way back. So I'll share these guys with you. You guys haven't told me how annoying this is, so I assume you guys are comfortable with it. Yeah, she loves the Incredible Hulk's fingers, doesn't she? Okay, so now we're back where we started, and we'll start off with my sweaty face, and then I'll turn the camera around, and we'll walk in this direction now. I almost wasn't sure where we start, and where we started. So we took a bunch of photos of the girlfriend, even helped a, a couple and her kids take a photo. In exchange, they took a photo of me and my girlfriend together, holding a big golden coin. I'll show it right here. So now that means we'll have good luck and lots of money this year. Everybody's taking photos. Wow, cotton candy, for real? I haven't seen cotton candy in so long. I wish I had money. Also, I've been asking in every video, and I'll stop asking once I get to my milestone of 1,000 subscribers, but if you guys will hit that subscribe button for me, that would be great. You guys know who Vladi Divac is? <laughs> Funny thing about Vladi Divac. I used to be a big fan of Sacramento Kings, that's where I'm from. And he would go outside of Arco Arena with a sleep train amphitheater or whatever the hell they call it these days. And he would go out and smoke cigarette <laughs> at half time. <laughs> she was such a badass. <laughs> Well, I think that's it. So we're gonna head over to District 1, right by the river. I heard there might be some people out over there, some crowds gathering. So we're gonna shoot in that direction, and I'm gonna film that for you guys too, so you guys can see what day three of Tet looks like. Until then, as always, could you guys guess what I was gonna say? Stay awesome. Thanks guys.